Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are back here at St. Croix Lake in Michigan. And we got a little distracted by the rainy day walleyes last time. And I know I had said in the start of that episode that we were going to go looking for pike and muskie and stuff like that. Well, we're going to do that today, I promise, guys. It's not raining now. But I have noticed that we are getting out of the peak time, so we might have to advance time a little bit here. But before I do that, I will take a quick look here at some of the things that I am carrying with me now. I am going to change a few things here. I'm going to go ahead and put myself a different lure here. I think I'm going to put my... my um, three-quarter ounce tiger spoon on this particular reel this with a different crankbait a little bit heavier one as soon as I can find the darn thing there it is okay yeah I want to get a little deeper I'm either going to use a six foot at the, the five odd or the eight foot I think I'm gonna go with this six out uh, because we're going to have some big fish here guys i've already got 0.018 floral line that should be strong enough i mean that's pretty strong line we've got our river tech cell monster eight foot by two inch it's not the biggest one but you know we don't need it seriously seriously big but big enough to catch pike trophy pike and maybe we might get lucky and get a unique i got my redfish 4500 reel and of course I got the 8 foot crankbait this one happens to be my Farcaster 8 foot by 6 inch with the Cyclone 5500 now that reel is probably a little bit a little bit strong for that rod unfortunately I can't get back and trade out my rods I wish I could have gotten my uh, a little bit stronger casting rod but I will just keep my drag down. I know that's not the best thing to do guys, but I'd rather just do that for now and then trying to waste the money and traveling back. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get here on the map. Now there's several places we can fish for these guys. I mean, we can fish for them here at the woods of the Eastern Bank, at the King of the Green Bay, and the Sandy Cape. But I think we're going to go ahead and start here at the Sandy Cape. Now the uh, other good spot I have, there's a place called, I think it was what Delacaba called Pike Alley. We're gonna, we are going to check that one out. But I don't know if you can see it, but this is the area where I used to catch a lot of the unique... Um, drum a freshwater drum as well but we need to come down here to the grassier areas or the reeds and stuff now right now is not the best time to fish for these guys so we're gonna come down here to the bend here there's like a bend here in the river and well there's a rock there um, either here or we'll try we'll start at this one here first because there's some good 
cover over there and right over there that's really good for these guys. But first, I'm going to go ahead and advance time because we are not in the peak period here, guys. We're not even close. Yeah, the peak period's about uh, about six to, to nine, honestly, for this type of weather. So we're going to go ahead and forward time here. See if we can increase our odds a little bit for catching these guys. All right, we're going to start by fishing over this direction. And we're going to be using this crankbait. We're going to try that for a while, and then we're going to switch off to the lemon tiger, because I have a lot of luck with the lemon tiger. Yeah, the muskie love the lemon tigers. Now, the one and a half ounce is my favorite. Two ounce will work too, but for some reason I just have a lot of luck with the, with the one and a half ounce. Now we'll cast here a few times, then we'll cast to the side a few times, and then we'll switch bait if nothing nothing attacks because we got to figure out what in the world they're going for right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to go try casting over towards these weeds over here this time. See if I can get something's attention over here. There we go. We got something. What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, white bass. Not quite what I was after there, but we'll take him. We will take him. It's a mighty large lure for him to be going after, that's for sure. There we go. This, whatever this is, it's a little bit bigger. I think we might have us a pike this time. Yep. There we go. There's a nice northern pike. Yeah, they seem to be going for the crankbait just fine. All right, let's try over here now. Because there's a little bit of reeds over here as well. Yeah, I like to move around a little bit. Let's see, there's a whole slew of, re of reeds sticking up right there. If I get it right on by them here, let's try to. Come on, Pike. There we go. There's something. Uh, it's not big. It's not very big. I think it's perch. Yep. Damn. Nice one, though. Trophy yellow perch. Nice fat one, two pounds. Fat old perch. Flay that guy up. A few of those, and man, you've got you a really good meal. Got something else here. 
think we might have us a pike this time, guys. Yep, another northern pike. Not monstrous, but we'll keep him. Toss that over there again. Yeah, there's so many spots over here for pike and muskie. And pretty much, I find them pretty much in the same locations. I mean, it just, I seem to get a lot more pike, though. That is true. I tend to get more pike. Unless it's right on the peak, then I might get some musky. But they've changed a lot of my locations, and I'm kind of curious as to whether or not I could even catch anything in Pike Alley. But I think we're going to hit that later, because this is going to end up turning more most likely into a multiple episode deal here. Which is fine. A lot of people like to go after Pike, and that's that is a good thing. Yeah, we're gonna be in Michigan a while here, guys. There's a lot to do here. There's a lot to fish for, and there's a lot of different types of baits to use. I mean, we're not even getting into float fishing yet here, but I want to go ahead and switch over to my spoon. Now I'm going to use my one and a half ounce. This is my favorite of my spoons. I'm going to try over here with that this time, see if that doesn't. Now I'm going to put it up two notches because we're going to be doing a different type of retrieve. Instead of a slow straight, we're going to be doing either stop and go or lift and drop. I'm going to try lift and drop to start off with first though. I don't know if you notice but you can cast out a lot further with this too. Alright, I'm going to come over here now, try on this side, then we'll try out across the lake again. nothing goes for it then we'll move down a little bit and that's what I usually do I just kinda try a few of my favorite lures see how well they do and then move on just gotta find out what it is they like kinda surprised they're not biting there we go there we go we got him I knew eventually one of them would get interested in that. There you go. Northern Pike. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yeah, you can get quite a bit of cash here, guys. This is the spot. But we're going to try on those two reeded areas over there since we can cast this out a little bit further see if these guys are going to go for my old fail safe yellow tiger I love my yellow tiger I'll let it hit bottom we'll do a lift and drop I'm not saying twitching let, let me get it down to the bottom here Seems to be going for twitching that distance. That's weird. Well, I'm 
getting a good twitch reading. It just seems a little strange that it's going the twitching. Is that me? Whoa, okay. Ooh. Not sure why I got here, but it's it's big. Okay, it's big. Yeah, it's big. Come on. We want to see you. I think it's a trophy of some some kind here. He's almost in. There we go. <laughs> New personal record, Tiger Muskie Trophy. And that is awesome. That's not my first Tiger Muskie. I caught one earlier, but my God, he is a monster. 22 pounds. 1,220 cash. Oh, I wasn't expecting him, guys. Honest to God, I was not expecting this guy. Very nice. Oh, I swear to God, I love my tiger spoon. I love my tiger spoon. Mwah, love it. <laughs> Never fails me. Never fails me. Yeah, I was catching quite a few of them earlier when I came over here with the uh, crankbait, but I was catching trophy pike. I caught one tiger muskie and one regular muskie. But that was about it. And it was only like a small time I was catching them. I, and then after that, it was like nothing, you know. I think there's kind of like a short window to catch these guys. All right. Let's see if we can switch off to something else here. Kind of tempted at trying my that's not really heavy enough okay it is heavy enough I wasn't sure if that was gonna work on this rod to be honest I may not get the distance that I want but I wanted to try this at all these locations too This is the old Weapon X. And it don't come any bigger than three quarter ounce, but I wish they come in like an ounce and a half or two ounce. All right. Let's try this lure over here for a little while. See if these guys are gonna bite on it over here. Yeah, it is starting to get a little late and it is a cloudy day and it seems like I never really catch as many of them on cloudy days here. Yes, sunny days. Partly sunny days, you get a little bit more of a reflection. There we go. We got something that time. I think we got us a decent sized pike. There we go. Another northern pike. Right, let's go over here now. I like, like I said, I like to move around. You move around your chances are a little better
Looks like I'm getting a twitching for the most part. There we go. I just seem to do better with the lift and drop. Damn, I keep switching back and forth. Yep, got a snag. Yeah, guys, it is getting a little late. Now, I might get lucky now, but I think we're pretty much out of the peak time. Let me check here real quick, guys. Let me see. Yeah, see, we're on the major downswing of the peak. So, and let's go ahead and take a look and see what I've caught. I've been, this is just one day of fishing, guys. I've got 206 pounds of fish. This, uh, this keep fish keeper is almost, well, it's almost half full. It's 14,000 cash. But I didn't do too bad, I'll tell you. I got lots of walleye, smallmouth bass. But I want to take a look at this uh, trophy tiger muskie. Now he'll probably be in my, not my leaderboard. There we go. Hurts. So he was 22 pounds. Let's go down here to see how big this dude is. There he is. Very nice. That's a beauty. That's a beauty. All right, guys, I do hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. So until next time, I will see you later. Bye-bye.